who's using gardening to inspire and educate his classroom and his community. Check this out. Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you for that great reading. We are in the elementary school known as Community School 55 in Claremont Village, surrounded on all four sides by public housing in the poorest congressional district in America. We are in the least healthy county in all of New York State. In this neighborhood, people have two, three, four minimum wage jobs just to make ends meet. The bulk of stores in this community sell nutritionally bankrupt food. Some people call it a food desert, I call it a food swamp. It's no secret that the life expectancy in this community is far less than a community three miles away. And that's largely because of what kids are eating and environmental stress factors. I believe these kids deserve more, and I feel it's my moral obligation to give it to them. Rip it from the bottom, you ready? Hey, let's start eating. Mr. Ritz, or well, I call him the godfather of green. I wanted to be just like him because he helps people and many people look up to him as a father and a mentor as well. Boom. Green Bronze Machine is an impact-driven, for-purpose organization. We have aeroponic gardens. We have an indoor mobile classroom kitchen. Go ahead, dump it right in. We have cooking classes and a bike power smoothing station. Let's go! Vanilla blueberry, here you go. Thank you. In this very classroom, we grow up to 37 varieties of fruits, vegetables, herbs, and edible plants. We're using 90% less water and 90% less space. Today... We're going to make turkey chili with tons of vegetables that you see on the table before you. Turkey is really delicious. So we've replaced the ground beef with turkey because turkey has less fat. This is a perfect example of eating the rainbow. All your colors are there. All right, let's get them some salad on their green plate. Thank you. I feel good about growing my own food because when I grow up, I want to be a gardener like Mr. Ritz. Having the, the green box machine in the building helps us to continue to have the attendance rates uh, stabilizing around 93, 94%. We are now close to the 70% passing rate on the science state exam, which puts us at level with other schools around the city. So we have an outdoor community garden that is open to all. This year, we're on track to grow 5,000 pounds of fresh local vegetables between our indoor and outdoor garden. And for a community that has limited means and limited access to healthy, fresh food, that is a game changer. God bless you. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. Have a great day. I think that the Green Box Machine is a great program for the kids in this community because it's helping them, it's helping them to get healthy. Hey, guys. ADHD, so he, eating healthier is actually healthy enough. This just isn't about students. This is about an entire community. I believe that we can grow something greater. And how we treat our children dictates who we are and reflects as who we are as a society. What do we see here? Do you believe strawberries in the brown How cool is that? healthy children and fix broken men and that's why I do this work. Alright you guys get on the sun and sleep because Mr. Rich is here with us today. The Godfather of Green, I see how you are you are you are doing magical magical things. Could you tell us some of the exciting stuff that is up next for you guys? Well literally tomorrow we are headed to the White House for an event. Yes sir. Event hosted by the president and first lady, and we're going to build a pop up farm. We're going to represent our South Bronx classroom. I'm bringing my tower garden, and, and we're going from tower to table on the White House lawn with Chef Jose Andres and Bill Yates, and we're going to go from tower to table. Oh, well, that is, they are also idols of ours. What you do is magical, magical work, and I know the, the four of us, it takes our breath away when we see pieces like this, and I think it does with the audience, too, and, and you're an incredibly special person. Um, so, what we wanted to do is we wanted to help you to continue your amazing work, so the Walt Disney Company is donating $5,000 to the Blue to keep the growing going, to keep the magic, to keep those kids every day going. Awesome. You're an idol. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Th